What's going on guys, it's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you a floating translator for your Galaxy S3. So pretty much if you're on an Italian menu like so, or if you're at a restaurant, or if you're abroad and need to translate something but you don't want to whip out a giant dictionary, or use Google Translate which can be kind of unreliable, you can actually use this app. So what it is, is of course, it's a floating translator. It's this little cloud which can be moved all around and minimized, etc. So if you need to look something up, we're on an Italian menu right now at a nice restaurant in LA. We just tap on this. Um, Fiori, I don't know what that is. So I can just type in Fiori, hit done. It'll translate it for me. So flowers. So now I know that is. I can order it or I cannot order it. Um, and it's just really simple to use and change. So if I want to go from English to Italian, all I would have to do is hit this little switch button and you can see that it goes from English to Italian instead of Italian to English. Go back if I want to change the language. So let's just change the language. Delete this first. Hit done. I'm going to change the language from Italian to... Hold on. Get out of here. As you can see, it stays wherever I go on the screen. Let's just go to an empty page. All right. So I'm going to go from Italian, just click on um, the area, whoops, let's go English to Spanish, and you can see you just scroll and they have a bunch of languages that you can select from. Um, all the languages are actually listed in the full tutorial, so make sure to check that out if you're wondering what languages the app has. And then of course we can just translate, type in duck, what does duck mean in Spanish, it'll load. Um, and there you have it. So it's pretty easy to use, obviously. And then if you want to, of course, make it disappear if you don't want it floating, you can also close it here in the notification tab. You see that it's gone. To open it back up, just go to your apps, open it up. You can close it from here as well. But right now we're going to be opening it up. And then here in the settings, you can change the floating behavior become a bubble and you can also change the bubble size but regular is pretty good for me so hit that then you open it up you go back <clears throat> and to access the settings instead of going to the app you can also just go there and access the settings you can also close it from here like so just hit the close um, option and then we can also use it as a dictionary so you can see English to Spanish is what I'm in right now, if we just tap the Spanish section and go dictionary, I can search for any word, hit done. It'll of course give you that definition. Oops. And then you can scroll and see all the things. So the dictionary is pretty useful just because it floats over, of course, other apps that you're using. And again, that can be accessed just by tapping on that section. And you can see here is the little, you can block, you can hide it, etc., etc., from that little drop down menu. But the most useful thing is, of course, the translation. Um, so just make sure to check out all the available languages and know that it goes over any application. So you can be an internet, you can be playing a game, you can be doing whatever you want. And um, the notification will stay there. And of course, you can close it at any time if it's getting in your way. So just make sure to check that out. It's free in the Play Store, it's Floating Translator. Um, you can check out the links in the full tutorial if you want the APK. Um, and just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.